and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Cory. Today I'm going to be taking this ugly old window and making it look like a cute farmhouse mirror for my dining room. And I'm going to be doing this video in collaboration with Yami, the Latina next door. She is doing a collaboration that is called Craft Your Stash and it's where you use what you have to create something while we are all stuck at home on our quarantine time or whatever your current area is doing. For me in Arizona, we are, um, we've just been issued a stay at home from our governor and now we're just staying home unless you need to do something very important like get food or go to the doctor. So this window so far, all I have done is take off all of the extra little accessories that were on there and now I'm going to take some 120 grit sandpaper and my really cheapo Harbor Freight sander and sand the top and back side of this window so that way there's no chipping paint coming off and there's no splinters that are going to hurt me when I pick up this <laughs> mirror eventually. But now I'm going to take a flat head or a flat tip razor and um, just kind of scrape off all this extra spray paint that was on there. I'm not sure how it got on there. It was on there when I bought it, but I'm just going to scrape the glass to get those dots off of there. Now, now that it's all clean, I'm going to be using this looking glass spray paint to create the mirror effect. Since this is a use what you have project, I ran out of it and now I'm going to use a regular silver metallic behind the mirror finish. And this ended up creating like, um, I don't know, it's like a random metal finish. It looks really neat though. But whenever you do a mirrored finish, you have to do black on the back of it to make sure it's not see-through. And the glass in this piece was like about to fall out. So I wanted to use some caulking to kind of recreate the effect of the glazing that would be in an antique window just to hold the glass in. And now I have the back side done. I flip it over and do the front and I'm going to just take a wire brush and clean it up really good to get off all the chippy paint and dirt and grime. And then I put some water down and go back to scraping the front side like I did to the back side with a razor. This was actually really easy. Some of the paint was stuck on a little harder, but all I did was wait a little bit longer with the water on it and it came right off. It's so much easier to just scrape paint off of glass than it is to tape it off. So I never even tape off glass when I do projects like this. It takes longer to tape it than it does to just scrap, scrape it right off with the razor blade. So that's why I chose this method. The paint I'm going to be using for this is going to just be the Home Depot brand chalk paint and a dollar store throwaway paintbrush. And I did two coats of paint on this. Um, I never show my second coat just because I'm sure you guys know exactly what it would look like to paint a second coat on a piece of any kind of projects that I've done. And like I was saying, I did not tape it off. I just went in and painted closely to the edges. And then when it was all done, I went back over it with the razor blade again while the paint was still pretty freshly dried and it came right off. It was so, so easy. And I was actually really surprised that it only took two coats of the white paint on here. And as much as I love pink, the Pepto-Bismol color on here was just, it was too much. <laughs> Here's the finished project. And I hope you guys really like it. I ended up rearranging my house and put my dining room in a different area of my home instead of having a formal dining room. And I now have my home school room slash office in the other area where my dining room used to be. But if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit subscribe.